How to add a newsletter pop-up on a Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a newsletter pop-up into your Shopify store. This is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Shopify.com. Then you're going to sign up for an account if you don't have one. But in case you have an account already, you're going to proceed to the admin dashboard. Right here we have the admin dashboard. Now, let's go ahead and install an app called Power Pop-Up. So we are going to right there on the uh, search bar right there and I'm going to type like this. Once you have written Power Pop-Up, you're going to click on search in Shopify App Store. Right there we have it uh, or we have the Shopify App Store. Now we're going to see for the app or seek for the app. So if you don't fi find it, you're going to type only power. Right there we have power pop-ups and we have a lot of alternatives. But I usually use this uh, right there pop-up to make everything clear and everything um, cleaned up. So click on this one, which is which has this star logo. Click on it. And it has a free plan available. So we are going to use the free plan. This is a preview of uh, how there will be popping up right there. So we are going to set, for example, a sign form for the newsletters. Click on install. And then we're going to wait until the uh, permission of the installation is going to be set within a few seconds. Click on install again right there. And you can see right there that the power pop-up will be right there in the apps. So we need to pin that to the navigation like that. And here we have the pop-ups. Now we are going to create our own pop-up, but we need for that a newsletter ready for an example. So as we can see right there, we have some examples. Choose your template. You can choose this one. This is a summer template, summer discount collection and etc for example these discounts and also announcement go ahead and use whatever you want for example flash sale i'm going to use one of these pop-ups then i am going simply to set it in my taste for example i will use this one or that one i'm going to use this and then we are going to set something here we have everything set it is a welcoming message so we have the image. You can set the image to the left like this or to the right. I highly recommend you to use it or use whatever suits you will. I'm going to click on done. And now we have the sign up and unlock the button, which is this one. Sign up and unlock your instant. This is a message. So I'm going to put sign up and receive. Receive like this receive monthly like that monthly uh, newsletter news letters like that do the point and here we have it this is the first message so for the first message I'm going to set free newsletter subscription sub subscription like this and here we have the subject now we are going to click on done and the countdown timer i am going to remove it because i don't need a countdown timer for the claim discount i'm going to change that text to something else so sign up like that sign up free and here we have it go ahead you can choose the colors for example here we have the color of the swatchers I'm going to use this blue maybe and now I'm going to see it again and change this to this blue like this and we have it this is fully customizable so you are they are going to set the email address right there and for the photo you can add an element or set the image and we have the image so we are going to replace that image I'm going to see right there on or search on Canva if I can have a example of a newsletter that I have created, I know for sure that I have created one. So we are going to download it. And as I said before, I have one. 
So I use Canva uh, totally to create newsletters, any part of design because this uh, platform is very cool, also free. So when something is free, it is uh, very customizable, also very utile for you. Use it like this. I'm going to download it as a PNG. Go ahead and get this right format. Wait for a few seconds until the download will be processed. And now we are going to upload that photo. Go ahead and upload your photo from there and wait for a few seconds. Here we have the photo, I think. Now we have the photo set. The newsletter is here. Now we have an overlay image you can set or also you can add a, the image width and etc. When you finish, click on done. After you have set everything from here, you're going to add an elements. For example, if you want, you can add an image, a text, a video, a file download, which is a premium feature, a spacer or a button and etc. You can make a button and guide it to an external link. But here, I would rather to use this uh, button set from here and I will see the subscribers for the newsletter within the app because this pop-up will gather all of the information also the email. Right there, on the email address on the form, you're going to click on more options. Here we have email or email address. You need to make the email required because this is a very uh, important part. So we are going to click on done and all we need to do is to click on publish. Now, where to install the pop-up? Here, you're going to see uh, all of the pages that are on your website and you're going to set it, for example, on the homepage. So we are right here going to install in Shopify theme editor. How we can do that it is very easy we're only going to see the uh, embed app and we are going to activate it simply then we're going to click on save here we have the power pop-up click on save and it is activated now we are going to wait for a few seconds and everything is set now everything is good i think install on shopify here we have it the position is floating the home page Right there, you can uh, install to custom location, share app, and etc. Everything is set from here, and we're going to quit this one. So, all we need to do right there is to go to home and exit the app. I'm going to take a look into my shop and see if this will pop up. We'll wait for a few seconds until everything is loaded, and we are going to see. You need to wait for a few moments until the app is set and also now here we have it. This is the newsletter and we have the sign up form. This is created by Power and it is mentioned that it is a pop up and this pop up is very customizable. So you can modify it in your end and the customer if they get bored of it, they can close it right away by just a single click. And here we have it. Now Let's go to the Shopify store again and we're going to see the Power Pop-Up app. Now we have a lot of things that we can do. You can create multiple pop-ups. Here we have the sales pop-up. You can see my pop-ups right there. I will let you see here the model and also how we can add them. For the contacts or the creation, also the subscription right there. We are going to see them on the my contact right there item. So when you click on contact, all of the subscribers right there will be shown right away. For example, you have set the email address as required. You will see all the contacts created in here. For the moment, it is empty because no one has signed up already for that. So as you can see here, we have it. The contact is it right there. Create apps with response and etc. You're going to integrate it within the uh, Shopify customers or Google Sheets to organize them or save your uh, right there. As you can see, uh, the contacts on MailChimp or Zapier or a lot of integration. But it is a set. Here we have it. Now for the pop-ups, you have some uh, some very great opportunities and options to create. If you have the newsletter only, you can set it. 
But if you have, for example, a promotion going on, you're going to create a discount code. And that discount code, you can go ahead and set a promotion for it. So you're going to attract the attention of all of the clients that will visit your uh, Shopify store and also see that pop-up. Power pop-up is not the only option available in Shopify. You can only right there on the uh, search bar of Shopify, type simply pop-up like that. And you are going to see the different options and also the different variants within the Shopify app store. We have personalizely here we have vitals right there we have um, e-commerce send pop-up and email pop-ups but pop convert pop-ups and banners and etc you can use whatever you want from these um, apps and extension within your shopify store it is very easy to install them and you're going to use them and make a lot of um, benefits from them since they have the most or the majority of the apps has a free plan and also a paid plan so make your own decision and make your newsletter ready from canva or whatever you want and then you're going to be set that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one